Hey, hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's Jakenia Lawrence, the Detox Fox. Let's talk today about the fear of the telephone, okay? Um, follow up, follow up, follow up. There is fortune in the follow up, okay? I hear this all the time and I know it to be true for a fact that there is fortune in the follow up. How many of you are in business, especially network marketing, direct sales, and you've told someone, I'll check back with you in a week or I'll call you in a month or um, after you watch that video, I'll give you a call and you have yet to contact that person or you contacted them three days later or a week later, or a month later or not at all. Guys, there is fortune in the follow-up. I know a lot of times we have, we look at our phones as that 500 pound weight when we're ready to call someone about our business. But it really shouldn't be that way because the phone should be our friend, not just for text messaging, not just for social media, but also for conversation. It should be our best friend because that is how we build business is through having a rapport with people to trust us in business, to do business with us. And we want to be able to exert that same energetic feeling about our businesses through our telephones, not just through social media and text messages. So if you are someone who has um, in the past had some issues with making phone calls or calling cold calls or even your warm market, you just haven't figured it out, I'm gonna give you a couple of tips that hopefully will help you at least get to the point of picking up the phone, okay? So my simple solution to having confidence at home on your phone is whatever it is that you wear or do outside of the home to be confident, put that on inside of the home before you start making phone calls. That should give you the confidence boost that you need because you look good and you feel good to make that phone call as if that person was standing right in front of you, okay? So that's the first thing. So ladies, if that means putting on the makeup, getting your hair done, putting on heels, or wearing that favorite outfit that makes you look just then you wanna go ahead and put that stuff on so that you can feel confident enough to discuss your business with the person on the other line. Of course they can't see you, but they can feel your energy and they can see your smile through the phone. They can feel your smile through the phone. So make sure that you have on whatever gives you the confidence outside of the home, inside of the home. Guys, same thing for you. If you rock it with jeans and a t-shirt on, your favorite t-shirt and it makes you feel great, Put those items on. If you know that when your hair is lined up perfectly or you got a, you get a fresh new haircut and you know you feel confident because you know you look good by the head, then guys, go get that lineup. Go get that haircut. If you know that if you put on that suit, whatever suit it is, whether it's your court suit, your, your church suit, whatever suit you want to put on, if it's a suit that makes you feel good, put that suit on and make phone calls. It sounds silly, guys, but if it gives you the confidence outside the home, it'll give you confidence inside the home to make the phone calls. My second tip is this. Instead of saying, I'm going to make calls today, or for the next two hours, I'm going to make phone calls, or it's time for me to make phone calls, it's nine o'clock, I'm gonna make calls until 10, 11 o'clock or until I get to 20 people. How about putting that into a smaller increment of time? Let's start with 15 minutes. Let's say for 15 minutes, I'm gonna make phone calls, okay? Some days those 15 minutes are gonna go by fast and other days they're gonna go by slow. It's gonna determine how many calls you're able to get within that 15 minutes. Not just the quantity of calls, but the quality of calls. Of course, you're gonna have some people who don't answer the phone. That's okay. Leave a message, put a mark by their names that you're gonna follow up with them again in maybe 48 hours. But you've gotten it done within that 15 minute time frame. Some days in 15 minutes, you can make about 10, 15 calls. And on some days, you may only get four or five calls because that means somebody answered and you were able to talk to them about their business. Now guys, it's not a rush within that 15 minute increment to see how many calls you can get. It's more of the quality of call that you're giving to the person you're speaking to within those 15 minutes. So if you only get one call done for 15 minutes, know that you've done your 15 minute increment and you've done a follow up and you don't just stop with that one 15 minute session for that day. I don't care if you do 15 minutes out of every hour, you're gonna make phone calls or 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes in the afternoon, 15 minutes at the end of the day. 
Whatever the case may be, set your timers for 15 minutes. Try making calls in smaller increments of time. Dress for success. Do the income producing activity that is necessary. And I guarantee you, you're gonna see better success in your business and you're gonna have more confidence than you've ever imagined before. So with that being said, you all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.